I'm coming in loud and clear. Might hear me on the radio. Breaker, breaker, one nine. Anybody got their ears on? Hey guys, it's Eric. Look, I'm making a follow-up video this weekend to last weekend's video, Why You Need a Shortwave Radio Right Now. I'm not totally surprised at the level of engagement, how many people came and watched that video. I'm happy, but what I am surprised at is, is the positive response that I got from that. And so I want to thank all the subscribers, all the people who just found my channel on that. It's a passionate uh, subject for sure, but it's one that we managed to handle, for the most part, very adult-like, I would say. <laughs> Anyway, two of the big questions that came out of a lot of those comments were, uh, where do I find how to find these shortwave stations you're talking about? And uh, what kind of antenna are you using? And so I'll get into antenna options in another video, maybe next weekend. But for this weekend, let's talk about the first one. Um, I'm going to show you here in a few minutes uh, two, two different stations or two different websites, I'm sorry, that, um, that I use a lot extensively. One of them is for shortwave. And the other one is for Shoutcast. Uh, for those of you, and there were a lot of you that commented that you didn't have the funds to purchase, you know, a mid or high quality shortwave radio, and you're asking, you know, what do I do? There is Shoutcast, and it is kind of a forgotten tech. Uh, I run two Shoutcast radio stations myself. It is something that anybody can do with a laptop and um, an idea, and it uses very, very little bandwidth in either direction. So if you're on a metered connection, or you're on satellite internet, or whatever else and you have you know, limitations to what you can get in. Most of these are operating at below dial-up speeds to get the signals across. So Shoutcast is a great thing. I'm going to show uh, you that website here, uh, but that's not the focus of this video. The other website is short-wave.info, I think it is, and um, it's a great website. I don't know who created it or who maintains it, but this website is the go-to directory for shortwave. And so let's go on over to it. I'll show you how it operates. It doesn't matter what language you speak, what time of day it is. There is a ton of information out there. So some of the comments I did get were, there isn't anything on the air. I have to disagree. And I think it's probably the second video that I'm going to be making, uh, Antenna Choices, that is the problem there. So let's hop on over there. We'll do that. We'll come back here and we will wrap it up. All right, here we are out in the old shop computer, and we're going to fire this thing up. I'm going to go to Google Chrome, but you can use Edge, you can use Firefox, you can use uh, Internet Explorer. They all work with this website, it's, uh, the two websites I'm going to show you. There is one thing you need to change, but I'll get into that in a second. So here we are in Google Chrome, and I'm going to go first to uh, Shoutcast. Um, I'm not going to spend a ton of time on this, but I do want you all to be aware this still exists, and it's actually really, really great place to hear information. Um, 84,245 radio stations are using the technology right now. And while some, if not most, of these are going to be music stations from around the world, you will notice that there is a whole lot of talk going on here. And it gives you information here, how many people are listening, what the bit rate is, and it, what, what the format is. A lot of them are MP3, some are AAC, whatever that is. But they both work fine. So you can click on any of these and uh, I'll just go ahead. So I'm not going to do a whole lot here because I don't want to um, I don't want to get any kind of copyright infringement. But you'll we'll notice not secure is on there. Some of these are secure, some of these are not. If they're not on Google Chrome, you need to right click this and say, oh, it's okay that this is safe because it's just an older way of doing things. And by using Shoutcast, this is literally coming off of somebody's laptop. In fact, my radio station is well, both my radio stations are somewhere in this list. And so you can you can go, but there's tons. Uh, a lot of it's in English, a lot of it's from overseas, a lot of it's somewhere in between. And every every genre you can think of as far as music and talk is in here. So if you have forgotten or have never heard of Shoutcast, well, I'm glad I could wake you up to the world of that because it is super cool. So if you don't have a shortwave radio but you still want to kind of hear the rest of the story, this is a great place to find it. All right, I'm going to go back home, and we are going to go to this website right here, Short dash wave dot info and this is where i find all of the um legal uh broadcasts so there's tons of stuff that's broadcasting we'll get into that in a second but i'm just going to go to any station i'm going to pick english i'm picking right now is the time and i'm going to hit go and what you're going to see is all of these little places all these little places and if i click on one of these little places you know, that's going to tell me, hey, what's going on here? Um, no, I don't want to set my location there. But you're going to see all these. And I can roll down here and check it out. Frequency, where it's located, the call letters, overcomer, 
right? WWCR is a huge broadcaster here in the United States, 100,000 watts, 100,000 watts right there, and it's located in Nashville. But we have the voice of Indonesia right now that's broadcasting. Reflections from Europe, BBC, I mean, it just goes on. Radio Channel 929, which is in three different languages, but right now it's probably broadcasting in English. Belarus Radio, um, I mean, you name it. Look at this. It just keeps going, right? And any one of those, Voice of America, all over the place. Lots of different frequencies that are located at. Um, I'm just going to roll through it. I'm not going to, you know, you can take a look at this. I'll kind of go as slowly as I can. But this just keeps going. <laughs> it just keeps going. So anyone that says there's nothing on shortwave, I'm not sure what kind of um, shortwave you're listening to. But it's not the same shortwave that I'm listening to, apparently. Uh, this this 5950 has some great stuff. It does have some ham radio related shows that come on. Um, awesome, awesome stuff. This this guy's been banned off of everything, literally everywhere, but he's still out here. Uh, we've got uh, if you're into Christian stuff, uh, the University Network, which used to be Eugene Scott's, and now it's his uh, ex his wife, I guess. It's still hanging in there. But I mean, just just keeps going, just keeps going. These are all English transmissions. And, um, I mean, I'm just going to speed through. Look at this. We're only halfway through this list. Just keep going, right? Now, the thing with shortwave is some of these stations will jump around. So, like, the Overcomer, right? WWCR. Didn't we see that way up there? Yeah. So, depending on your time is when these frequencies might change. It's the same station. It's the same legal call sign there. But it's also going to be transmitting on different frequencies at different times of day because of the way that shortwave works. It's just the, the the way that we get those signals out. Sometimes they're not very effective at certain frequencies, and so they switch frequencies. Voice of Korea is an excellent channel. China International is very good uh, for, for world news. I mean, there's just so much of this going on here. And yeah, you're going to see some repeats, but let's go back up to the top here and just and let's just look at this. It's showing here the, the uh, Terminator into night and day on both sides as we move across. Now, I will say in my uh, time, my, like my area, I get a lot better reception worldwide at night. During the daytime with the RF static and frequencies and just the atmospheric interference that uh, is created naturally when the sun's up, I don't hear as many. I hear the, the stations that are, you know, the power, powerhouse stations. But uh, at night, oh my gosh, with a good long wire antenna or a uh, amplified MLR MLA30, which is what I I really recommend now, this is this is where it's at. So I would you know point out like ten different <laughs> websites if I needed to. But the truth is, pretty much everything that you need is right here. And of course, if you want to choose a different language, you know maybe you speak Spanish, maybe you speak German, maybe you speak whatever. It's it's there for you. So uh, it's all right here, all listed. It's it's just awesome that it's there, and you can narrow it down to bands. You know, you can do a lot of different stuff. You know, you can look for certain stations. BBC just recently started broadcasting again, so so let's just check out where the BBC is currently broadcasting. And we have, you know, fifty eight seventy five. Looks like fifty eight seventy five right now. It is broadcasting in English, and if we go down, it is also broadcasting at eleven eight ten in English and 12095 in English. So just at this one time, there are three different frequencies currently broadcasting the BBC. So if you don't pick them up on one band, perhaps you can pick them up on another. I hope this is making sense. If you have any questions about this, uh, let me know, and I'll try to you know straighten it out for you. But you know, I, I, the video that I put out got a ton of uh, response, and I love that. I'm always happy to hear the conversation and be a part of that conversation. So I wanted to talk to you about this. I also wanted to mention, of course, Shoutcast, because for those of you who can't afford to purchase a shortwave radio, especially one with sideband, uh, Shoutcast is another way of um, hearing every side of the story because it's it's unfiltered news from, from everywhere. And it's personal opinion, too. I mean, I take everything in, the, in this world with a, a grain of salt, or as my wife is currently saying, maybe a whole cup of it, because <laughs> you just don't know these days. But all right, let's go back and we'll wrap this thing up. So there it is. Um, not a terribly complex video and not a terribly complex way to find information. I would say at any given time, 50 stations worldwide broadcasting English language news and another 50 to 100 uh, giving out uh, you know, religious channels or musical channels as well. 
globally, uh, with all the language involved, I mean, there you saw it. There were page after page after page of transmitters that are going 24-7, still on shortwave. And there's something that I didn't, you don't see there. You don't see it there. Um, and it kind of cuts back to that shoutcast. There are a ton, and I mean a literal ton, of pirate shortwave broadcasters out there. These are people that come and they go. Some of them will broadcast for an hour on the same frequency every night. Some of them will broadcast uh, randomly on the same frequency. Some of them will broadcast on any frequency at any given time. It's really part of the hobby and not so much part of how you can go about finding information, but it's incredible to me that, to be able to sit there. And if you go back in time and say, uh, my own personal wow signal, I think is the name of the video. It might be something else, but I was literally rolling through the bands one day at lunch and, uh, and heard my own show on somebody else's pirate broadcast. So that was pretty awesome for me. Um, that's, you know, that's about as much of an homage as you're going to get, I think in this life. But, uh, those are out there as well. You, there's no website that's going to show you, Hey, here's where the pirates are and here's where they, <laughs> here's where they broadcast, but they're out there. They're out there every day. They're out there every night and they're out there worldwide spreading probably more truth than, than any of the, uh, you know, the commercial sites just because they have no agenda other than their own. They're not beholden to any uh, corporations or whatnot. So really cool stuff. And back to the Shoutcast just before I wrap this up. If you've never played with it, go on there right now. Don't forget you do have to turn off your um, security for certain, you know, of the streams, my own stream included. It works fine on, uh, uh, you know, Microsoft Internet Explorer, but it doesn't work on a modern browser very well because they've upped the security level so much. That's not to say that it's not secure to listen to a stream that, that isn't a secured stream. It's just using a very old technology and they're just, you know, kind of blocked by default these days. But Shoutcast has tons, and I mean music and, and spoken word and read aloud books and old serials from the, from the radio era of the 20s and 30s. I mean, just you name it, it's out there. But there is a ton of people out there who have their own setups, their own radio stations, and they're broadcasting their own uh, little version of the truth. So that'll do it for tonight, my friends. Again, thank you so much for all the comments on all the uh, engagement on that last video. I'm glad to see there's so many like-minded and open-minded people still left in this world because sometimes uh, it can feel a bit uh, like claustrophobia. Like it just seems like the world's closing in on itself when all you hear, when all you're surrounded with is people that and, and ideas that just don't seem to be compatible with the way I was raised. Anyway, I guess that'll do it. Y'all take care.